Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeanette. In this video I wanted to do a real-time watercolor hand lettering video. And I'm actually lettering a movie quote and it's I think my most favorite most favorite does that exist? It's my favorite movie quote uh, from Terminator to Judgment Day. The future is not set, there is no fate but what we make for ourselves. Um and that's because today I wanna watch Terminator Dark Fate and I'm really excited for this because this is not only my favorite movie uh, movie quote, it's also Terminator is my favorite movie and to be honest I like the first one more than the second one but somehow my favorite movie quote is from the second movie and I do have a t-shirt for the second movie but still the first one is my favorite movie uh, next to Dirty Dancing and I think those two movies don't really go together. Um, but I actually enjoyed Terminator when I watched it for the very first time and I was like because it's just so thrilling and you're com I was completely into the movie do you know that when you're watching a movie and you're you're scared and you're nervous and excited and you're feeling with the character and I love that about movies and I was actually watching it in bed and so in the end where Sarah Connor crawls away for the uh, from the Terminator, I was kind of <laughs> almost crawling, cr crawling, is that pronounced correctly? I don't know, um, in my bed as well. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I was actually like, I don't want to watch this movie again, I don't want to watch it ever again. And same day later, oh, I watched it at night, and then next evening, I watched the second one, and I kind of got into it because I couldn't stop thinking about the movie, and I love it. If you watch a movie and you just keep thinking about it because it has such an impact uh, because the movie has just such an impact on you and don't have it just I don't have that with uh, many movies though and yes I really enjoyed Terminator 1 I also like Terminator 2 don't get me wrong but the first one is still my favorite and so I'm really excited for watching the second the second one today <laughs> um, the new Terminator movie because I was really excited that they did it. I'm really excited they did another movie and I hope it's so much better than the last one. <laughs> Not the biggest fan of Terminator Genesis to be honest. Did I pronounce that correctly? I hope. I say it's my favorite movie but I can't say the name. Okay. <laughs> um, I thought I wanted to kind of I actually just came up with this idea to kind of make it a voiceover because otherwise this, otherwise this uh, this video would be really lame <laughs> just a uh, real-time hand lettering and I thought I'm gonna talk about the movie before I actually have watched it and then skip to after I have watched the movie so if you want to also see a review keep watching it's coming <laughs> but first I thought I might mention the things that I did hear about the movie or I saw in trailers or what I think this movie is about or what's gonna happen in this movie. I don't know what's actually gonna happen in this movie but what I think about this movie or which information I have in my head right now I might be completely off there. I don't know. Um, and then later I say if I was right or if I got the information right or if I was completely wrong. Um, as far as I know or yeah, as far as I know, this movie ignores the last three movies, so it sets after the second one. And so the future is not like it was before because they could prevent Judgment Day. And that's why Sarah Connor doesn't really have an impact on the future anymore. It's not The Terminator is not after her anymore or her son or her family or whatever. She's completely off danger or she's out of danger. But now there's kind of like, there's a new woman who is like the new Sarah Connor, like the new target for the Terminator. Um, although I don't think it's kind of like a similar storyline or future present circle, like uh, the Terminators were sent back from the future and same with someone else sent back to protect her, who turns out he has to be sent back in order her kid cannot be alive you know kind of like the circle that from the first one I don't think it's quite the same but she this woman might have I don't even know her name <laughs> um my I probably don't even after watching the movie because I don't remember names very well um but 
she might be where was i dang it where was i oh so she is kind of like this new sarah connor who has an impact on the future so the terminator is targeting her now and sarah connor still knows about she, she didn't forget what's going to happen so she's still aware of terminators and the risk and the future so she's kind of trying to help this woman as well but i think there's someone else trying to protect her not sure about that but i don't think it's kind of like uh they sent back another kylo reese who tries to save her and he has to because otherwise the future wouldn't turn out like it is um i don't think it's the same storyline but maybe similar i don't know and i'm also not sure because i think that the terminator that arnold schwarzenegger played that is not really a terminator in this movie it's the person he play in this movie he plays the person I think he plays the person, I should mention this very clearly, but I think he's, um, he plays the person the Terminator is based on. So he's not the Terminator in this movie, but the Terminator from the first movie and the other movies was based on this character that he plays in, the, in Dark Fate. So that's what I think of the movie right now, but let's skip to the part after her. Um, so that is what I know about this movie right now, but let's skip to the part after I have watched this movie. <laughs> so that's about the information I have right now, or I think, about this movie, but let's skip to the part where I already have watched the movie. Oh, and I know there's a new Terminator, forgot to mention that. So that's the spoiler part right now. Um, where should I start? I don't know. First of all, guess what quote made it into that movie? <laughs> there is no fit, but what we make for ourselves, I think, and that's one part or one thing that I actually enjoyed about this movie, that it wasn't too nostalgic. It was no nostalgic, you had some moments, and it did mention the first two movies, but it wasn't too much. And I loved it because when Grace saved uh, Dani, oh my gosh, I forget names too quickly. Uh, when she saved her, or or when they met, she didn't use the same quote like Reese did when he uh, rescued Sarah. And this was something that they, this quote, they, if you want to know which one I mean, I meant, um, which quote I mean, it's the come with me if you want to live. Um, she she said it a little different and i like that i was kind of scared that sarah might take this quote when she rescues the, uh, them it was i knew when they were on the bridge that uh sarah connor might appear very quickly or very soon because i saw that i think i saw it in the trailer and that's why i knew that she's about to come and rescue them but she also didn't use a, use that quote uh what she did was she used the quote um uh, I'll be back, I think. But it wasn't too much. Um, but now let's talk about the things I was wrong. <laughs> I thought... Well, I, I'm, I think I did mention, I hope I, at least I did, that it's not really the same storyline. Like, um, like, Reese comes back, has or it has to be Reese who rescues Sarah and helps her because otherwise John wouldn't exist. Uh, I, we, we, I didn't expect this, but I did think that, uh, that, well, I'm, I'm not sure if I actually did think that, did I? <laughs> I should really listen to the part before. Um, that's why I did it. <laughs> but, oh, this is a mess. Should I do this? No, I can't. I, I keep going. Well, um, Sarah... No, I have to redo it because I lost it. <laughs> nah, I just continue. Well, um, it wasn't the same storyline, obviously. So, um, Dani's not the target because her kid is the future. It turns out like... But to be honest, or to be fair, Sarah Connor thought it too. She thought that she's the mother of the future. 
that it's her child who will fight in the future. Um, it turns out it's not. <laughs> it's herself. Um, Dani is the future. Dani is the one who rescues and who protects um, Grace in the future. And that's why she goes back in time to rescue and to keep... Um, to keep Dani alive and that's the reason yeah that's kind of one thing I was wrong I guess but I, I thought I mean I did mention it I hopefully I did mention it that um that it that I was expecting a different time that or a different storyline of of course because otherwise it was it would be boring if it was the same storyline with different characters another thing that surprised me um I still think it's kind of confusing about what actually happens and also what I still didn't get how this future happened probably quite similar I didn't understood that part but I was confused in the beginning because um all of a sudden it was like Sarah with John back like right it seemed like right after the second movie or they it was the appearance they had in that movie and the Terminator come and that's a spoiler but that happens in the beginning of the movie um, and the Terminator arrives and kills John and I was like is that a dream because what I didn't expect was that I mean I I thought that because they prevented the future because it judgment day it never happened it did happen like the future is completely different that's why uh, she's a new target but the future didn't happen or John Connor didn't couldn't be the leader in the future because he was killed and that's the next thing I was wrong about that movie it was um, Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't play a character that the Terminator is based on he plays the Terminator that kills John. So he plays actually um, a character who changed the future so much because because he killed John and that's why this future doesn't happen because this leader doesn't happen. I mean, but the future also doesn't happen because of the... Uh, because they did prevent Judgment Day. I don't know. This is confusing. <laughs> um, but I also was kind of confused because I thought first thought that this was a nightmare of Sarah Connor again. But uh, it turns out that multiple Terminator was sent back. So like during the f second movie, multiple Terminator was sent back to kill John. I mean, the first one was sent back to kill Sarah Connor. And then there was another one back sent back later on. And so there were multiple uh, Terminators sent back, I think, in different time or in different years and so there is they killed one of them but not all of them and so that's why John why this Terminator existed um, because he was sent back before they prevented Judgment Day and that's why he could kill John and uh, after that his mission was completed and so he got a completely normal life basically and I had to laugh because he said he was funny <laughs> this was funny if someone says yeah I'm funny and you're like huh ah <laughs> and then this is funny because they're actually not funny <laughs> reminds me that someone in the summer told me that I was like you're funny I don't think you're funny but okay if you think so <laughs> yeah what else did I want to mention I, I, oh, I, I wanted to take notes because it was so much um I did know from the moment on it, it was similar with Terminator there are, you just know what's gonna happen at some point um when when uh, it turns out that Dani is the future and she meets in the future this is also something I like that they did show the future like in the first one so they did see Grace fight and when they actually showed the part where Grace and Donnie met and where Grace revealed to Donnie that she's the one who saved her in that moment um, I was like oh Grace is not gonna survive this <laughs> this is so short I could have figured it out earlier to be honest um, and also in the end it was kind of like the like in the first movie uh, you know it's not over you know there's something gonna happen you know Grace has today or you know Grace dies and then 
uh, Dani can terminate the Terminator. <laughs> and so it's kind of obvious that she, um, that she, that, that it's not over. And my name is actually also kind of, I don't know if I criticize that or if I like that or not, but Sarah Connor did uh, kill the Terminator all by her, by herself in the end. Because, I mean, it was only her and Reese. And he gets killed, and then it's just her against the Terminator, or what's left of the Terminator. Also, something I was missing in this movie, I just realized. Because in the first one, that's what I love about the first one. In the first one, you could see um, how the Terminator can't get destroyed, or, or it seems like he can't be destroyed. And so, um, as the movie goes on, he gets more and more destroyed, but he still fights. He still managed to fight. He's still not completely destroyed. So it's kind of like, how can you destroy this thing? And so in the end, it's just his his head and his upper body and his arm. And there she's all by herself. And in this movie, she wasn't. <laughs> in this movie, there is still Sarah Connor who is next to... I mean, she didn't save her in that moment. But it was the Terminator who actually rescued you need a terminator to fight a terminator i feel like that's how the second and the uh third <laughs> well <laughs> one worked what's on oh i quickly want to mention this in the end the end actually kind of reminded me of the end of Ge uh, terminator genesis i'm not sure if it was inspired by that movie but it's kind of like how they were watching little grace as she was a kid not knowing what's gonna happen and that she just died basically <laughs> Um, it kind of reminded me of the, of the end of the last movie, because it was Sarah and Kyle watching little, or younger Kyle, like, what's it called? Yeah. Watched him as he was a kid. And actually, this was something I was missing. I would have, would have hoped to, if Kyle Reese was somehow in this movie at least mentioned, or if he was... If he would show up in the future, was, at some point I was thinking, could Grace, <laughs> seriously, I was thinking at some point, could Grace be the mother of Kyrie's? I mean, obviously not. I mean, he would look differently, I guess. I don't know, but I really thought that for a while that, for a while, that would have been. Not Grace, Donnie. Could Donnie, could. That would have been interesting if Kyrie was, was the future. I don't know, it would have been cool because, I mean, just that, because Judgment Day never really happened, I mean, he might still have survived this new thing, whatever happens, which I didn't really completely get. Yeah, that was would have been something I would have loved to see. Also, I was in the beginning very confused. <laughs> um, I was like, how did they do that? That They still look the same, like, in, when was it, 1992? 1992. <laughs> Is it 1992? I think so. I should know that. Or was it 87? Oh, I'm confused. I'm really confused right now. Wait, the first one came out 1984. Did it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and I lost it again. Dang it. Um, yeah, this... Actually, I, could, I think I changed my plan and I'm going to make it only a review because this video, I should not speed the uh, lettering part up. I should slow it down. I'm going to upload this anyway because this is more for me at this point. <laughs> okay, if you have listened until here, I could say so much more probably. I have to watch it again and then take notes. Um, because there is so much and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and to be honest, now I want to watch the first one again because it's it's crazy if you compare Sarah Connor from the first one, the really young woman who's scared in the beginning, and then Sarah Connor from the second movie or even this movie, just bad as Sarah Connor. And I like this part where she appeared because she was just like, yay! <laughs> it was so cool when she appeared. Um, and same actually with uh, with Danny. Um, this is kind of like the same. Uh, transformation from the scared young woman to this tough badass woman girl whatever <laughs> uh, <laughs> we sounded off right now <laughs> um, 
but I really enjoyed that and this is something I really liked about the first one. Not just the Terminator part that he gets more and more destroyed but still not completely destroyed but also how how Sarah Connor gets tougher and tougher through the first movie and in the end she fights against the Terminator by itself. And this is also a difference to the Dark Fate movie because Dani wasn't alone, she was saved by the Terminator actually. So it's half and also it's just because it keeps because I got uh, because that got into my mind right now. Um I was thinking actually maybe they shouldn't have destroyed that the nice Terminator on the second one <laughs> to have someone to protect them. Uh, but I think maybe they just didn't know that there were more than just this one. They could I mean the Terminator could have warned them that there's more than just this one and I think they also kind of knew they're still in danger or might be in danger I don't know um but what I wanted to say is like you could see that Sarah Connor gets tougher and tougher through the first movie and fights against the Terminator and same with Donnie she gets is scared in the beginning and gets tougher and badass and fights him in the end more or less alone as uh, she does have support uh i don't know if i like it or not i think it's okay i mean if you have to help um but i actually like this element of the first one that it was just sarah connor carries and the terminator but i still enjoyed this but the original terminator well i think it will always be my favorite one <laughs> because the storyline was just so simple and not too complex and it's just this one it doesn't refer to any other movie and that's what I like about the first one not only that also other things but I might talk about this in another video um if you have listened until here thanks and maybe I'll see you in another video